Hello guys, welcome back and this is my video tutorial number 35 and this video I'm going to show you how to do uh, pagination, okay? Um, to start we will need now a new file, okay? And you can call this new file pagination.php and let's go to um, another let's open for example let's say update.php because we will need uh, the connections to the database okay these two lines the MySQL connect localhost root or die and MySQL D database called test site so copy that and let's get to back to pagination and let's paste that here okay this will make uh, able to connect to our database let's close update.php and let's save pagination.php okay so we now have a connection to the database and now I want you guys to make a new variable called per page okay and per page is going to be equal to 6 okay I will explain you later on what this is just uh, copy this and type this in your notepad per page equals to 6 okay now let's type a new variable called query and this is equals to mysql a query to the database and let's type select select uh, select name okay which is the field name from the table uh, users okay so the table is users and the name is the field that we want to get so this uh, variable or this line of code will get all the names in our database from table users okay so uh, let's go on let's proceed okay now let's create a while loop okay that will um, take all the values in the names field and will make an array an associative array and to do that we already did this in the search engine to do this we have to type query row a new variable and equals to mysql fetch asoc and this means that it will create an associative array with all the names in the um, all the names in the field name or names I think yeah let me see where is it uh, name with the field name well I'm not sure if it's name or names let me open a new file and let me see update it's let me see okay it's name so we are correct so name in the field name this while loop will take all the names okay it will make an array with all the names in our database so here we have to type between the parentheses the variable query to get all the names and now let's make an action which is an echo let's echo all the names echo now let's echo query row and let's type here oops a line break okay save this 
and let's open our browser and oops it's too big let's go here to localhost home and let's type instead of home.php we have to type pagination.php okay so we have an array but what I want is an array with the names so to output the names we have to type here uh, name okay which is the field with the names so let's save this and let's refresh and there it is okay we have um, a list of all the names in our database okay so let's proceed okay now we need another variable and this variable we're gonna call this pages query equals a MySQL query and inside we're gonna type select count okay and parenthesis and inside the parenthesis we are going to type ID okay and then we type from users okay so what this does this line of code is uh, it will count uh, every um, every ID in the in the in the table users okay the field ID okay okay now we need a new variable called pages okay and this is equal to MySQL result and inside the parenthesis we are going to type two parameters pages query okay which is the line above okay with all the IDs or the number of IDs that we have in the database, pages query, and the second parameter is zero. This zero means uh, the first row, uh, um, what number uh, do we want to give them, okay? So this, the first row return is zero, okay? So remember, we start always from zero, one, two, okay? So um, let's proceed and now now what I want to do <coughs> before we proceed uh, to any other line of code is here after uh, my skill result row okay this is the counting of uh, the pages the IDs that we have right of the rows that we have in the database I want to divide that by this variable here what it means is that uh, for na for example now I have six and what this mean is that for each page in our uh, search or whatever or where we use the script in each page I want to be presented six um, six uh, values in the first page or six uh, names uh, or users in the second one six and the third one six okay uh, if we want more I can change this to ten okay but for now let's leave this at six um, now what I need is uh, to divide the result of the total of the rows or users that we have in the database divide that by six right and that will give us uh, um, a result um, to divide uh, to have in each page the same number of users so here I type divided the symbol divide by this variable here per page okay so let's type per page okay so now we have a problem because we might have in this um, in this calculation when we divide we might have a problem because we might have a result uh, with decimal numbers okay and to have a um, a result 
with a whole number, we have to use um, something called seal, okay? And this is um, an attribute or a built-in function that will take the result of this calculation and will take a decimal number and it will uh, change that to the nearest whole number, okay? Um, always up, okay? So to um, to take uh, this result, if we have 1.3, okay, it will uh, go to um, 2, right? If we want them to go to 1, we have to put here 4, okay? So let's type seal, and if we have um, 1.3 users, okay, we will take uh, this result to uh, number two, the whole number two, okay, and then the results will proceed to the next page, okay. So um, now that's it. Okay, now I want you guys to type a new variable called page parenthesis and I'm going to show you now how to make the if statement but without typing uh, the if and also without typing curly braces okay uh, it's a new way of uh, when we have to do an if statement really fast or a simple if statement and this is the way you do it first of all you type parenthesis and this is where the condition is going to be and then you type um, the question mark and then you type the column okay now inside uh, the parenthesis the condition is going to be if is set which mean if um, if uh, this is uh, this between the parentheses now is set as the word says it's pretty simple if this is set or we typed this which is oops sorry the get the get variable page okay so if the get variable page is set after this after the question mark we type whatever we want the code to be to run okay in the case that this is true okay so this is uh, probably like the open curly brace and in here we type integer and I will explain you later on what this line of code means, okay? It's but it's for security reasons, okay? And in here we type page. And after the column, this is like the else, okay? So this is if this is true, do this code. If not, do whatever I'm going to type now, which is one. Okay? Now let's save this. Let's open uh the browser here let's refresh pagination okay we have an error now but it's normal because it is supposed to be an error okay now let's proceed now let's type a new variable called start and start is going to be equal to page minus one and this means that um, the page, okay, which is here, which is one, is going to start always uh, in zero, okay? So page is one, so this minus one will take the page or set the page, the first page, to zero, okay? And uh, as you know, we always start uh, with zero in uh, the PHP. So by per page okay uh, i'm running out of time guys see you in the next video okay bye